so that the children and the women have their needs met, communities have their vibrance and resilience. And resilience to me is the other lesson of biodiversity. We now don't have to debate whether climate change is here or not. It's a reality. And of course, we need biodiversity in and off on its, of itself. But I cannot see a future of farming if we don't bring back diversity to deal with the vulnerabilities that are being created through climate change. No monoculture system with external inputs and long distance trade is going to survive the kind of variations in climate we started to see already. And at least for the immediate future, they're just going to get worse. Biodiversity is our only insurance in a period of climate change. A very unusual what? Caterpillar? Yes. Hmm. What makes him so unusual? He looks poisonous, but he's not. You sure? Sure. That's good. I already touched him. You already touched him and he wasn't poisonous. That's good. And he always wants to get off. I think I'm going to let him onto a leaf now. Some people think. Yeah. So. That's that story, you know. All right. Then I moved over to Greenwich Village and became a folkie. Hmm. You know, and I, I learned all the folk songs, traditional folk songs. I played with bluegrass bands in Washington Square Park, in Greenwich Village. And then I started to get gigs in the coffee houses, the cafes of Greenwich Village, and the folk boom that started. Um, and, but I still had those country songs in, on demo. I, I wrote a bunch of country songs. And I hung around Tin Pan Alley, I went to the Brill Building and I knocked on doors. Uh -huh. And this uh, this fly-by-night record company called Lido Records with Leo Rogers, he, he was interested in my sound. He said, oh man, kid, he said, if you could uh, write some sexy songs, we'll record you. So it was like Rock and Billy was happening. And <laughs> Loves that stick. He's little. He's so fuzzy. Aww. And we are taping him. It wasn't until you asked me to dance. I fell for your lies. Now I'm here believing things I've never
questions that we're confronted with in society today. And we're going to have to rethink a new foundation of science, and on that new foundation of science, we will, we will build a new development model that's not the world is a big factory, but the world is a big farm. And we're going to go from there. Well, hey! Hey! Little water boy!